Climbing switchbacks is personally one of the most satisfying ways to climb. I believe this is because you concentrate on the technical aspect of the trail and perhaps forget about the pain and suffering that you're going through, purely focusing on making it to the top. So body position is critical for when trying to attack steep switchbacks like these ones. Sitting in a neutral position in the middle of the bike, quite upright, will encourage the front end to lift and therefore you're going to run the front going wayward. The position you want to be in is right to the front of the saddle. As you can see, my bum's perched right on the front, my arms are in close and my body's down low. This forces the front wheel down, allows me to drive my pedals forward and carry my momentum up the switchback. Most switchback climbs will be at their steepest gradient in the centre of the apex. It is critical you attack the corners, picking up speed on the approach and carrying as much speed as you can through them and onto the next straight. Another great tip is try to anticipate your gearing on the approach to the switchback. What I mean by this is choose a lower gear so you can pick up your cadence and accelerate out of the corner, as opposed to struggling in a higher gear and therefore low cadence and you cannot accelerate out of the corner. You have to use your head a little here, as all switchbacks are different. Usually, if there is no visual obstacles, the wider outside line will be the best. The reason for this, it will allow you to carry the most momentum through the turn. So just like looking ahead is a crucial skill when descending, it's equally important when climbing switchbacks. On the approach, I'm looking ahead, I can see that large route there that might cause me some problems, especially in the wet. So I open up the corner, find a clean line, now I'm in the middle of the apex. I use my head, turn, look up the trail, and this sort of drops your shoulder and naturally brings the bike around. And then I'm up there, my next point, looking ahead, seeing what obstacles I've got coming up. So bike setup. As you can see, I have a dropper post. When I'm riding switchbacks climbs, it's in the upright position, my natural pedaling position. This is where the compromise comes, up the front with your stem height. The cross country guys run the stem all the way slammed, really low front end. This is to aid climbing. They can keep the front end down and drive up the climb. The problems arise when you try and ride downhill in this, with this setup. It won't fill you with confidence and you tend to struggle, especially when it gets technical. I'd look for a compromise, have a little bit of a play around with your headset spaces and see what works for you and get a bike that works both uphill and downhill. And for more videos on GMBN, if you click up here for switchback descents, and if you click down here for how to climb like a pro, these will both add everything to this video. And obviously, as always, click on me to subscribe to GMBN.